An event for job seekers was held by an education-related entrepreneurial venture. About 50 students took part, asked how their job search is going. It's going quite smoothly compared to past graduating classes. I've been told this year is a lucky year. The job opening to application ratio in February was 1.05 times, a six and a half year high. With the economic recovery, it's now a seller's market. After the event, the human resources managers go to a computer. She says she wants to work in a company that'll give her a lot of opportunities. That's us. <laughs> what are they looking at? This is a service called Wildcard. It's a website where students can promote themselves and send messages to recruiters. Right now I'm looking for students that I want to scout. Only those who've received acceptance letters or have specialized skills, such as programming, can register to the service. Corporate human resource managers can directly contact top-level students and lure them away from competitors. It is a convenient service that allows businesses to become more aggressive in recruitment. The fee is performance-based. Companies pay about $9,000 to the website for every hire. Occasionally, they have to contend with competitors snatching prospective hires who also use the service. Accepting a job offer is not legally binding. Students are free to choose their employer. So the decision is theirs. About 1,100 students have already signed up, with 40% from top Japanese universities. One of them is Takuya Miyagawa, a University of Tokyo graduate school student who hopes to start working next April. He's already received an acceptance letter from a major company, but is also registered on the website. You can choose rather than be chosen. This might seem a bit presumptuous, but this service is only for students above a certain level that companies want to hire away, so I think it's very efficient for businesses. As companies are not privy to information about students who've been given offers and students leave the service after receiving acceptance letters, they say there have been no disputes between corporate clients. The website is run by this company. Established in April last year, they say they have over 100 registered companies. By building a website that makes selection less cumbersome and speeds up the process, efficiency has improved for both companies and students. There are other so-called matching services. This is Kyoto Seika University, known for having many art and design students. A group of seniors is discussing their job hunting activities. Did they say anything about your job search and issues you had? These three students have something in common. They all use the same service. This is a job search site specializing in art students. This is a matching service specifically for art majors who may have creative skills, but face an employment rate 40 to 50 percent lower than average. With the popularity of design-focused products such as the iPhone, Many entrepreneurial ventures and small and mid-sized companies have started to actively seek out designers. One of the students, Haruka Moriyasu, has advanced to the final interview at a certain company and is visiting the website operator to get advice. The final interview will probably be conducted by two art school graduates, so take your portfolio. You'll probably be asked to talk about it. 
Ms. Moriyasu initially used a major job search website. But she says she wouldn't have been able to win a final interview with any company without this service. On the other side, I would check off companies for one thing or another. But here, they give you more information and made me interested in the company I'm applying for. Two years ago, a pair of students used this service and was hired by a chocolate manufacturer. They are now in charge of brand development. We set up a chocolate shop in Dotonbori, Osaka. And they designed the entire logo and package. The company previously worked with an outside designer. But the two new hires became an immediate asset, helping to design the logo and store. And last October, a new shop was opened in Dotonbori, Osaka. It's so cute, I want one. The customers are looking at the most popular product, Dotonbori Bonbon Town. The packaging, posters and display were all handled by the two art majors. Art students have a set of skills different from social science and science majors. By launching a job search website in this new area, it has become easier for companies big and small, as well as entrepreneurial ventures, to find suitable candidates. Art majors possess creative skills of making something out of nothing. For companies to create new value in the future, it's vital for these students to be able to go out and contribute to society. The battle for talent is intensifying with the economic recovery. The Japan Business Federation has announced that it will delay the start of the official job hunting season for fiscal 2016 by three to four months. The shortening of the hiring season has put the spotlight on a video-based job search service called RecMe. Several thousand students are already registered with the service used by over 100 companies. On this day, two employees of the service provider meet with a stationery and office supplies maker about adopting the service. Their response is, A picture on an application and interview with candidates wearing similar business suits aren't enough to make a decision. A video introduction would be effective as an additional source of information. Since starting the service last December, several dozen people have been given job offers. With the shortened hiring season, more companies are expected to use the service.